Hello to you on a cracking night here at the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Manchester United facing Everton. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Wout Weghorst. Weghorst. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Weghorst. On to Bruno Fernandes. Opportunity. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So Everton get the ball moving again. Can they find a response here? Onana McNeil Tarkovsky and Everton pushing forward with options available opportunity to deliver the cross very alert defending to cut off the supply Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Ducouré. McNeil. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. Let's see about the delivery. Well, clattered away. Casemiro. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Bruno Fernandes. Well, beating his opponent. Rashford. On to Fred. Is it going to be? Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Bruno Fernandes. Well, the supporters think it's on. Bruno Fernandes. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that Yay! bit more easily. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. Two nil here, and the ball is moving again. Coleman it will be now a chance to whip it in nicely timed tackle well there it is United haven't had as much of the ball but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back I expect more of the same I think it's been a really good performance from them so far but a bit more defending on their minds here I think Cover Lewin. Now Gay. And this would reduce the deficit. A goal as they cut into their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. 
Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space, and it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Well, Everton's still trailing here, but this game very much a contest again. Anthony. It's a fine United move in the making. Bruno Fernandes. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? top of the bar well when he hits this he thinks he's scored almost the perfect free kick just look at his reaction so nearing the break and it's united on top Stuart how about your critique of their first half display well, it's been a good first half so far, and they've been the better side, certainly going forward. They now just need to keep playing with intensity right up to the break. Crossing possibilities. He will be. Really vital interception here. Ducouré. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. So into the second half, can Everton battle back after that first 45? Marcus Rashford. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. It will be. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Ducure. Promising sequence. Ducure. Well, a top notch piece of defensive judgment. Over the touchline for what will be an Everton throw. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Bruno Fernandes. And Rashford. Rashford, fine pass. The course. Can he take the chance? The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? McNeil. Just the challenge that was required. Anthony. On to Weghorst. Weghorst on to Bruno Fernandes determined defending Onana there to win it back Weghorst return to Rashford Rashford and there it is 
A two-goal cushion now, and they just need to keep the concentration. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Tarkovsky. Everton moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? And a throw in it's going to be. Coming off the pitch. Number seven. Here it is now. A substitution. To be replaced by number 11, Damari Gray. Everton unable to hang on to the ball. Marcus Rashford. Anthony. Diogo Dallo on the ball. And take it away. Gray. Gray. Calvert Lewin. A good and fair challenge. Counter attacking, very much an option. Fred. Rashford. And snuffing out the danger, but a corner coming up. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Now, how about the short corner? Nicely timed tackle. Coleman. And now Gay. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Really getting stuck in. And there goes the final whistle. No cause for celebration in the Everton camp. A defeat for them here. What did you make of it? Well, we discussed their lack of goals before the game, but today they had defensive issues. And for me, the main problem was their reaction time when they lost possession. It was far too slow, which left the defenders too exposed to counter-attacks. 